Hey everybody, it's Vincent. I'm right now using my touchpad and I hate this thing, but I'm willing to go through it so that way I can get my Bluetooth mouse reinstalled and to show you this. So bear with me on that part considering this might be a little slow. Anyway, just to clarify this real quick, if you have Windows 7 and Windows Vista, more than likely you have the software installed, but look at the side of your computer, your laptop most of the time. Right where the CD jack is, the USB jack is, the HDMI if you have that, the Ethernet, all that good stuff. You might notice <clears throat> a little light that has the Bluetooth symbol on it. If you do, guess what? You got the hardware, you got the software, you're good to go. You can probably figure out the rest, but if you don't really know how it really works, then just stay tuned on this, okay? Now the first part that you'll notice if you don't have it installed is that you try to add the device and you get nothing, jack squat. So then you think, like I did, well maybe I need to make my computer discoverable. I tried that. I clicked allow Bluetooth devices to find this PC. Or here. I click apply, I get an error. I click OK, I get an error. Oh my god, was I pissed off when I found that and I thought, okay, maybe it's nothing. It is. So here's the part where I'm really going to help you out. Unfortunately, if you're looking for a way to make it so that way you don't have to spend any money, you're not in luck. What you need is something called a Bluetooth adapter. And this is what it is. The Bluetooth adapter is basically the hardware that you need to run the program. Basically, it's the one that sends and receives the signal. Without it, it doesn't work. You got the program, but it's stuck in your PC. Now the reason why my mouse is hovering over this low one is is because it's the one that I bought. I bought for twenty dollars. It's cheaper on the internet, but with shipping and handling included, it's still going to be around twenty dollars. So you might as well go to your local Walmart and buy it. What's great about this one is besides it coming with the software, the actual little CD software to install it, is it's very small, you can just put it on a USB port that you never use because it's in an awkward place. But like I said, this thing is so small that you hardly will ever notice it. And it's got pretty good range. Uh, I think it can use up to six devices, but not simultaneously. If you use it all at once, it could actually lag up the system. I tried it with three, with a mouse and two other cell phones all at once sending and receiving files while I'm using the mouse all at the same time, it the mouse kind of froze up a little bit. But to me this is a great one because you don't really have to remove it. Like I said, this thing's small and sleek which makes it that way if you have a little extra room when you're packing up your laptop to go to a friend's house, you don't have to take it out. It's awesome. Now you can always go for these other ones like this $30 one which will probably help out in speed and more connectivity but you have to keep on taking it out. Not to mention the price is higher. You can go for this one, same problem. Just about all of these have the same problems. So I highly do recommend this one considering it's not going to break the budget and you can use multiple devices not all at once, like two at a time, maybe, maybe three. I haven't done an extensive test on it yet though. Anyway, the only real time you're actually going to need the software to install into your PC is if you have a Windows XP. If you have Windows 7 or Windows Vista, what you have to do is you have to make sure to go to Control Panel and Bluetooth Devices. If you don't see Bluetooth Devices under Control Panel, you don't have the software, so you need to install the program which there I cannot help you on considering I have software I basically threw out the disk. So let's uh, minimize all this and if you'll give me a minute I'll switch over back so that way I have Bluetooth again. Hey everybody and we're back. Right now my Bluetooth is hooked up and working. I deleted my cell phone off of this because I'm going to show you how it works. Now there's two ways you can do this. Uh, depending on your cell phone will depend on the way you should do this or shouldn't. I'm going to go to Add Devices and show you both ways. Alright, there's my cell phone. Click Next. And you have three options. You can create a pairing code. Have it create one, I'm sorry. 
enter a parent code for yourself or do it without the parent code. So let's do uh, I enter one, so that way I don't have to enter some long ass one. I'm just going to put in four zeros, which is the normal standard code. Now, more or less, sometimes it will fail considering some devices just doesn't work with it right. Cell phones, only certain ones work with it right, which I don't really know, but the Samsung RAM is not one. And as I thought, it did fail. Now, the second option is to go through your cell phone and go under tools or wherever you have your Bluetooth settings at and try to search for your computer. Now in order for this to work make sure on your Bluetooth settings that, click, that you click allow Bluetooth devices to find this PC. If you have that clicked then you're ready to go. I'm going to have it look for a computer and I just found my PC. Now I'm going to enter in a pairing code which if you do it this way you have to enter in a pairing code. Now it's going to start pairing which then it will say this little thing right here and all you gotta do is enter the same code that you used and voila pairing successful now to prove that this does work I'm gonna go to my music and I'm gonna select ain't no rest for the wicked that's actually the name of the song this isn't a very long one but I will tell you whether it's long or short that pictures do take a lot shorter time to send from a computer to a cell phone than music does. Music can take up to as long as the song is sometimes. So I'm going to click send to uh, Bluetooth devices and then this will pop up. Don't try to send it to your mouse, it never works. And this that's really common knowledge. Go to your cell phone or even your iPod or whatever. Click next. And now it just asks me on my cell phone to accept it. And I accepted it. And I'm going to edit this again like I did before. So that way you don't have to wait so long for this thing to send it. And as you can see, it went successfully. But like I said, it takes a lot longer. Which this one actually took about a minute for it to send all the way through. Anyway, this was uh, just a demonstration on how it works. Like I said, with some cell phones, you can do the first way I showed you, but with most of them, you have to have the cell phone uh, find the PC on its own, which is why I do recommend that you allow Bluetooth devices to find the PC. Anyway, this has been some Wolfland Productions. Thank you for watching this video. I look forward to seeing you all in another one of my videos.